Hi, I'm Millie Davenport, a horticulture extension agent with the Clemson University Home and Garden Information Center. Today we're going to talk about annual bluegrass control in the lawn. Each spring at the Home and Garden Information Center, we get several calls about annual bluegrass control in the lawn. And whether you call it um, the common name annual bluegrass or POA, POA Anna, or by its scientific name, POA Annua, it's definitely a difficult weed to control. It's a good thing for homeowners to realize that they're not going to easily control this um, weed in the landscape. It's more of a fact that you really want to manage the population down to a tolerable level than actually eradicate it from the lawn. The first thing with any um, pest control, whether it be a weed, an insect, or a disease problem that you're trying to deal with, identification is definitely the first key to making sure you're going to properly handle the situation. First, it is a cool season annual, so it's going to start its life cycle in the fall with seed germination at that time, and then it's going to end its life cycle in the spring. It has a clumping habit, unlike a lot of your other grasses which tend to spread, so this one you're going to find in little clumps throughout the lawn. The leaves are nice and um, smooth on both sides and it's a light green color that helps you distinguish it from other grasses in the area. And the tips of those leaves have somewhat of a boat shape. The flowers themselves are a nice um, greenish to whitish color and um, there's lots of them so that's going to make these weeds really pop out in the landscape. Usually you're going to see this weed um, preferring areas with compacted soil, wet soil, or lawns with high nitrogen applications. One, if you're over irrigating, you're creating a wet soil that's going to be more favorable for this weed versus your turf grass. And if you're mowing too low, then you're making it a situation where those weed seeds will get enough light to germinate. Now the next step is to actually prevent the weeds from invading the landscape and that's going to be monitoring the mulched beds around your trees and shrubs and also with any new plants that you bring into the landscape. Now when you've done all that you can to prevent weeds from entering the landscape as well as properly maintaining your turf grass, then the last step would be using herbicides when necessary. The problem with using herbicides at this time of the year, which is spring, is that these weeds are at the end of their life cycle. Annual bluegrass, like you will remember, is a cool season annual, so it's going to start its life cycle in the fall and end it in the spring, early summer months as it gets warm. So since it's going to die anyway, it's really a waste of your money to go out putting any type of products on this weed to kill it at this point. So what I would do instead is to mark your calendar for the fall to use a pre-emergent herbicide. There are several pre-emergent herbicides available on the market. One that has done very well in trials is one that contains the active ingredients venefin and trifluralin. Now with that particular pre-emergent or any of them that you choose to use, you want to apply that first application in the fall when your temperatures get to about 75 degrees for a high for several days. So you want to do that first application then and then a second application 10 to 12 weeks later. You should be aware that um, those pre-emergent herbicides don't distinguish between turf grass seeds and weed seeds. So if you are overseeding your lawn, do be aware that this um, product could and will prevent those seeds from germinating. One last option you have for controlling um, and killing the annual bluegrass in your landscape, other than just hand pulling, is using um, a generic form of the original Roundup, which is glyphosate. There are several generic forms of that product out there. A couple of brands are Quick Kill and Eraser. Now this is a non-selective herbicide, which means it's going to kill anything that it gets on, so you've got to be really careful about where you use it. A maintenance calendar is available on the Home and Garden Information website for each turf species to help you follow the correct cultural steps for your specific turf grass. Using that um, calendar as well as preventing the weeds from entering your landscape as well as using herbicides properly are going to help you to reduce the annual bluegrass population in your lawn. For more information on gardening, landscaping, insect and disease problems on your plant, visit the Home and Garden Information Center website at www.clemson.edu slash HGIC.